Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how you can implement generic constructors in Java. Before starting, you can subscribe my YouTube channel by clicking on the link which is available at bottom right corner of this video. You can download my app Tachimens that is available on Google Play. You can connect with me by following these details which are available in front of you. Now coming on to the topic. In this example, you will learn how you can implement generic constructors in Java. So here two classes are implemented. First is GenCons, which is having a attribute val. Then this is a constructor definition for the class and it is having this notation t extends number. So this constructor is bounded for only uh, numeric values. You can pass only numbers to this constructor and those numbers will be assigned into arg variable which is of type t and then arg dot double value uh, method is called here so double value method uh, will receive the numeric value and that number will be assigned into val then show val method is defined which is printing value of val on console then second class gen demo is defined which is having main method Inside main method, two objects test1 and test2 are created. So for test1 value 100 is passed which is of integer type. So this value will be received by this arg uh, argument and with the help of double value method that numeric value will be assigned into val. Then test2 object which is receiving 123.5 as an argument. This f is indicating that it is a float value. If we don't use this f then in Java, by default, uh, these, these real values are treated as double. So this value again will be assigned into arg argument, then double value method will receive the numeric value and that will be assigned into val. Then with the help of show val methods, the assigned values will be displayed on console. So friends, you can see that I have created only one constructor, which is uh, processing uh, integer and float both the values because this is a generic constructor. Now I am executing this code. You can see the output. Both the values are displayed on console properly. So this is the demonstration how you can implement generic constructor in Java. I hope you have understood the concept well. If you want to watch more programming related videos, you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Do follow my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.